Rojo here with another Wi-Fi battle. Uh, we got a battle here with Neil. He's from Twitter. And we had an NU match. And, uh, yeah, you guys, hope you guys enjoy. And please subscribe if this fulfills your needs. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, here we go. He's going to actually uh, send out his Raichu as his lead. And I'm going to send out my little fat-ass Seismitoad with my warts all over me and stuff like that. Anyways, he goes for the Brick Break. I don't know what he was trying to do. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, I go for Stealth Rock and... I try to get some, you know, Stealth Rock going on his side of the field. I don't know. I feel like I have to use Stealth Rock in every battle. You know, I feel dominant, like a king, you know. But he goes out and switches his Raichu, and he's going to go to his um, Lapras. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to think what this thing can actually do, this little fat-ass turtle. I don't know. But I go for the knockoff just to do something, make, you know, make some use of the Seismitoad, and I knock his lefties off. And I'm just sitting here chilling, and basically I almost have full health, and I got Stealth Rocks up, so I'm looking pretty good. And I go for the Earthquake to just do see what happens, and it does about half, I think. But he goes for a Toxic, and I'm like, well, this thing's probably going to have Protect. So, uh, you know what Seismitoad says? He says that he is probably, let's see, after this poison damage, I don't know what's going to happen, actually. I think he switches out. Yeah, switch, okay. So I'm sorry, I have a really bad memory of my battles, even though I had this today. But I go for my Garfield, and uh, he goes for the Ice Beam, and... Uh, yeah, he does about half damage, I think. But he goes to the Protect, I guess, to stall a little bit of time. And uh, I could go for Fake Out, maybe he predicted that, I'm pretty sure he did. I go for Return, and it finishes L Lapras off. And I actually think this... <laughs> I think my friendship on my uh, Perogly is not even maxed out, so I, uh, I don't know. I've been checking into that. I don't know if it's maxed out or not. But uh, yeah, he goes for Raichu, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I think this thing's scarfed, so I'm going to go to my jumper cable, just in case he uses the Thunderbolt or something, but no, he goes for the Brick Break, which actually, I should have predicted that in the first place. Like I said, I make some bad decisions, so just bear with me. Don't call me a noob. It's been a while. I've been playing Pokemon for years, and competitive scenes since I was 16, so yeah, just, you know, just, just, just give me a chance, please. But, uh, since I'm Executor, and, uh, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to try to do something about this, and get rid of this palm tree, set him in my yard. So I go for the ice punch, and he actually takes it pretty good, and my life orb does a little bit of damage on me, but he's actually a harvester, which most executors are uh, harvesters anyway. Goes for the citrus berry, and goes for a psy shock, and finishes off my electivire, which sucks, because this thing was actually a really good powerhouse on my team. But you know what? That's what happens when you try to attack a palm tree, it's just going to hit you back in the face, so... I'm cool with that, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go to my, uh, back to my Garfield, though. And this thing's got U-turn, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and use that here in a sec. But I go for the Fake Out to get, you know, a little bit extra damage. And this thing is Life Orb, by the way. And I'm sorry if you noticed the lights around my DS. I actually had to open the light curtain when I was doing this, so. But he goes to the Citrus Spirit to get some more health. And I'm just gonna, you know, test this out. I go for the U-turn, and I'm just like, you know, how much, how much is the, how much is this gonna do? And it kills it. And I'm like, yes. Because obviously it's quadruple effective, so you know he is going to die. But I go back to my, uh, back to the Pokeball, and I get to choose my one of my Pokemon. I get to Rot Rotom, and kind of gives him a free switch in, so I use a U turn. But I just I really wanted to kill Executor, would have thought it would have been a kind of a threat. So I go for Will O Wisp, and uh, does a little bit of burn damage, but he goes for the Toxic, and I was actually suspecting like a Will O Wisp or something like that. Because most Weezings carry Pain Split too. And uh, my Rotom actually has Pain Split as well, but I actually don't use it, so, uh, I actually go for a Thunderbolt just to kind of, like, you know, see what, see what I can do with this Weezing, because obviously it doesn't have good special defense, but it goes with a Stockpile to get some defenses up, and, uh, basically, it's just kind of a stalling war, because he's going to stay in, but he's burned, so he's not going to live for very long. So eventually, you know, it's it's just a joint, you know, you just gotta let that thing roll and roll until the nub, and then you save it back in your ashtray, you know? So, yeah, he's just gonna burn, take the burn damage pretty well, and then I'm gonna switch my little fan back to my Pokeball and go back to my Garfield, and I'm just gonna get what I got left of this Garfield, because he's got fake out, because maybe I can fake him out, and, you know, stall him until he, you know, the burn damage finishes him off, so that, that's what I'm going for. And, uh, basically, it does work, so... He doesn't switch out either, so he's just going to take stay in and go for, I go for fake out, and obviously I'm going to live, but I'm about to die due to my life orb. The cat's attacking itself, just like my real cat. It just hits itself, so uh, I'm going to go for a knockoff now to get rid of that black sludge, but it kills it, so and I, get, I, I get a critical hit, but I really don't think it would have mattered, because I was, you know, I really didn't care about dying this turn, 
because I have one HP literally. But uh, he goes for Barbarical, and uh, I didn't know what this thing was capable of, so I go for a knockoff, and it actually had a Focus Sash. But <laughs> knocking off a Focus Sash is like one of the most useless things to use knockoff for. But you know, you never know what it has. He had a Power Up Punch, so luckily I killed myself. But I go to my high gear, and I go for a Thunderbolt, and it actually kills his Barbarical in one whole hit. So his Barbarical is actually finished and done for. And uh, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. This Rotom is looking ballin'. So I'm pretty excited about this. This Inu team has come, it's come pretty good. i got to work on it a little bit, you know. You know, it just takes time. But uh goes for the Rapidash, and I'm just like, shit. What am I going to do? Got a big old Unicorn on the field. So he goes for a Flare Blitz, and this thing is defensive as hell. But, you know, I was so, like, over-predictive that I didn't, I th honestly thought I was going to do a lot of damage, so I go for Pain Split, and I get 4 HP back, <laughs> so Pain Split didn't do really much for me, but it's okay, uh, I was like, this is his last Pokemon, you know, maybe I can just, uh, stall him out, basically, but I actually switch out and go to my, uh, little Heatmore, or Arthur, actually, in case you guys know, he's called Arthur because of, uh, PBS, you know, little kid show, but I have Flash Fire, so yeah, use Flare Blitz, and <laughs> he... That's telling me he's choice scarfed, and I actually go for Fire Blast like a dumbass and uh, <laughs> get burned as well, or I, or you know I can't hit him with Fire Blast obviously, but rookie mistake. But he's stuck using Flare Blitz, so basically I got this battle in the game, I'm just sucker punching him to death. So it is the end of the battle, but good game, uh, Neil, and appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, thanks. See you guys later.